It can be quite difficult knowing which scan tool to buy for your Mazda, as there are so many options all with varying features on the market, some good, some not so good. But in this video, we'll steer you in the right direction and help you understand which scan tool is right for you, your Mazda and your budget. We'll show you some cheap and more advanced options along the way. We'll show you some tools that are made just for Mazda vehicles and some tools that are made for Mazda vehicles and other makes and models as well. We'll also put links to these kits in the description and the pinned comment, making it easy for you to find these tools if you are interested. So let's get started. We have five tools out on show and at the end of this video, I'll reveal which of these tools I would personally buy if it was my money, knowing what I know about all of these tools. They are the best selling tools at Diagnostic World, so they, ha they all have a good reputation and a good track record. And starting at this end of the table, we'll have the cheapest through to the most expensive, and you'll generally find that the more expensive tools have more features and functions, which you'll begin to understand as we go through the video. And if you're still unsure about which tool to go for at the end of the video, please do email us and we can recommend the best tool for you, your needs, your vehicle and your budget, okay? So we're gonna start at this end of the table uh, with the TYT version 1.0. Now the TYT version 1.0 tool is classed as like an all system scan tool. So it's gonna cover all systems in your vehicle, all right? So when we say all systems, we mean things like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, and all other systems that are installed into the vehicle. So it could be other things like power steering, air suspension, central locking, windows, doors, HVAC systems, heater systems, things like that. Any, basically any system which is installed into your vehicle, it can diagnose and uh, view data and faults with. And when we say diagnose and reset, we basically mean you can, it'll give you unique fault code, it'll allow you to view live data, and it'll also allow you to reset the fault codes, which in turn, should reset the warning light on the dashboard. So if you've got like a check engine light or an airbag, ABS light, something like that, then this tool will allow you to diagnose that. Now it is called the TYT version 1.0, but it does actually cover a, a range of uh, Japanese and Korean vehicles. So it actually covers Toyota, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Lexus, Honda, Suzuki, Subaru, Isuzu, Kia and Hyundai vehicles, okay? But they put all of those softwares into one um, easy to use, like nice compact package. And it's, they've called it the TYT version 1.0. Many years ago, there was also a tool called the TYT version 1.0. And um, it actually only had software on there for Toyota. But this is the latest version, okay? So the latest version will have all of those manufacturers on. So be careful if you are getting, if, if you are thinking about buying it, I don't know, somewhere else or some like a second hand, it probably won't have all of these softwares on. It's quite a new thing that all of those manufacturers are bundled into one powerful tool, all right? So, um, as I say, I'll pop the link to these kits in the description below the video and in the pinned comment, just so you know exactly where to go to get the genuine and official products, okay? So that's the TYT version 1.0 tool. We then move on to the, this is actually called the next tool, it's called the JP version 2.0 tool. And the same applies where it covers all the same manufacturers as it does in this tool, but this does have a few more features. So yes, this tool will cover all of the the systems that the version 1.0 tool will do, but this also does additional service functions, okay? Um, this, the, sorry, I should have mentioned that the version 1.0 tool will do oil service resets, okay? And that's the, that's the one service function that this tool will do. The version two will do other service functions, so it'll do things like oil reset, it'll do DPF regeneration, electronic park and brake, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor, new battery registration, injector coding, and brake bleeding. So those are the additional service functions that the version 2.0 will do. Um, it's, it's, they call it a JP version 2.0, but it covers Japanese and Korean, okay? So you've got all of your Japanese that we mentioned earlier and all of the Korean, well, we say all of them, it's Kia and Hyundai, but they're all covered, uh, all of those manufacturers, they're covered in all of these tools, actually. Um, but again, the, Jap the JP version 2.0 was only really designed to be a tool for Japanese, so they've added the Korean models on. So again, if you're wanting to make sure you do get the tool with the Korean models on, use the link in the description below, okay? 
but this is a good uh, a good package as well and it is considered a step up from the version 1.0 so that's the version one that's the version two we then move on to the you name it the the version 3.0 it's named the jp version 3.0 so what does this do? Well, this does everything that these two tools will do. It covers the same set of manufacturers. I'll just run through those again. Toyota, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Lexus, Honda, Suzuki, Subaru, Isuzu, Kia, and Hyundai. It does everything that these do when it comes to reading codes and all systems. It does everything that this tool will do for the service functions, but this also has additional functionality and additional service functions and resets, okay? So this is a bi-directional tool. It means you can do two-way communications. You can test the component, test the part in the vehicle to make sure it's working right. And it gives you an idea as to whether it's the switch that's faulty or the motor that's faulty. Um, or something else so it's 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 a really really useful to have if you're knuckling down to try and find a fault somewhere okay um, it does actuation tests component testing suspension calibration EGR adaptions transmission adaptions fuel pump purge air conditioning reset engine adaptions add blue resets and other adaptions and calibrations it really does depend on the vehicle that it's installed to I'll just get the glare off that screen there um, so if you were wanting to make sure that one of those service functions does work or which, which of the tools uh, would allow you to carry out a service, certain service function on your vehicle, then please do email us, give us your vehicle information and we can definitely check that for you. Um, and if the tool you're asking about doesn't work, we'll definitely be able to recommend something else, okay? So that's the version 3.0 tool. That's the best of the, I want to say, they, they used to be individually manufactured tools, all right? So they used to cover like just one manu manufacturer, but now they cover like the whole, so we're gonna call them Japanese and Korean. So this is the best of the Japanese and Korean tools out there, okay? This is way better than these two. It does cost a little bit more, but you're getting way more for your money, all right? Um, so that's the version 3.0 tool. We then come to the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. Now the CR Pro Kit, it's a really good tool if you've got a Japanese or Korean car, like we mentioned earlier, but you also have something else like a European or an American car. So maybe you've got an Audi, a VW, a Ford, a Porsche, Mercedes, Volvo, something like that. Bu uh, Buick, Cadillac, Chevrolet, Dodge, GMC, whatever it may be, then the CR Pro tool is a really good option. Um, this does all systems, does all of your fault codes, erases fault codes, erase warning lights, but it also has the service functionality of the version 2.0 tool, okay? So if you wanted the, if you like the look of the version 2.0 tool and you wanted that, those functions for all makes and models, then the CR Pro is definitely one to look at, okay? Um, it's been a really, really good seller for a good number of years now, and it's showing no signs of letting up because it's, you know, it, people are still buying it in high numbers. Um, so it, it is a very good tool and it does do what it's supposed to do, all right? That's the CR Pro kit. So we then move on to the final tool on the table. This is the iCarsoft CR Max. You'll notice this tool does look a little bit different, okay? Um, it's a tablet-based kit. So because it's a tablet-based kit, it has a different hardware setup, which means the software is, on a di is different, but the software and hardware installed into this kit is way better than all of this. This, this tool brings in all of this into one powerful tool, so it gives you all of the service functionality and the coverage of the version 3.0 tool, but it does it for all makes and models. So let's say you like the look of the version 3.0 tool, but you wanted this for maybe your Honda, your Toyota, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Lexus, Suzuki, Subaru, Isuzu, Kia, or Hyundai. But you also wanted that same level of coverage for your Audi, your VW, your uh, Seat, your Skoda, your Volvo, your Ford, your Porsche, Mercedes, BMW, something like that, then the, uh, the CR Max is an excellent option to go for. Um, it's such a powerful tool it's, and it's one of the most highly recommended tools. This also sells uh, phenomenally through the Diagnostic World website. Um, so, you know, take, take that information whichever way you, you need to. But um, I did mention at the start of the video that I would give you my personal recommendation on which tool I would buy if it was my personal money for this manufacturer. And we, I've, I've been in mind that I've been using these tools now 
um, in lots of different vehicles for a good number of years. And we, I know these tools inside out, okay? And that's not, I'm really not trying to blow my own trumpet or anything like it. It's, it's just fact, you know, if you do something all day, every day, you kind of become a little bit of an expert on it. So you understand the ins and outs of what it can and what it can't do. So with that in mind, if it was my personal money, and I was looking to buy a tool from, from my personal vehicle, uh, which one would it be? So I would, first of all, if I was looking for the single manufacturer, um, if I was only interested in this vehicle, this manufacturer, then I would definitely go for the JP version 3.0 tool. Um, it's such a, such a high-end kit um, for a, an individually specific tool, okay? Uh, as I say, it covers all of the actuations, all of the service functions, component testing, and calibrations, adaptions, things like that, okay? So, we've just got a bit of a glare again there. Try and get rid of that. Um, that's the, that's the, the first tool I would recommend, uh, and I would personally buy. But also, you know, on top of that, if I also had a different manufacturer that I wanted to cover, like a, an Audi, a VW, uh, BMW, Skoda, Volvo, Mercedes, Ford, something like that, then without doubt, hands down, it would be the CR Max kit. I can't, I can't stress enough how highly this tool is recommended. To, you know, if you're an enthusiast or with a few cars or a small garage or a workshop, or you just want to be able to look after all of the cars in your family setup, um, the CR Max is, is, it covers all systems, does all of your service functions, adaptions, suspensions, actuations, component testing and things like that. So it's it really is the best bang for buck tool out there. We've got the most amount of service functionality, the most amount of system coverage, the most amount of vehicles in one powerful tool. And of course, with it being a tablet, it's not just a tool for diagnosing vehicles. You can do everything that you would normally do on a tablet. You can download apps uh, and whatnot as well. All of these tools come with free lifetime updates. So other manufacturer tools, they will give you free updates for the first year, and then you have to pay for another year's worth of updates every single year. Well, these tools, you'll get free updates for life, and that is guaranteed on all of these tools. All of the tools will give you unique fault codes, the manufacturer-specific fault codes. They'll allow you to view live data, reset the fault codes, which will in turn reset the warning light on your dashboard or whatever warning message you have. These tools will do that for you. Um, but if you're still unsure about which tool to go for, by all means, please do send us your vehicle information. We can check for you to see which tool is best suited to your needs, your circumstances, your vehicle, and your budget as well. All right. Um, so please do email us if you've got any more questions. Other than that, though, the links to all of these kits will be in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this helps.